What's up YouTube, J.O. Reptiles here with another video and this video is going to be about my Abronia graminia or the Mexican alligator lizard uh, so I'm just going to show you guys some of my basic setups I have three here <clears throat> and I'm just going to show you talk about feeding, humidity and just how they're set up so right here is one that I have a pair in so this is a 4x2x2 four by two by two screen cage from LLL Reptile so with these, you want to set up, you want to have a lot of live plants. As you can see, I have some pothos here. Some of these, even though they look dead, once you spray them, they're green. Um, some bromeliads, some of this ivy that grows all over. And <clears throat> on the bottom, I, in mine, I like to have lots of moss on the bottom. Because uh, this is obviously going to be the coolest part. And I'll show you guys in a minute my temperature variances in the cage. But so you want to keep it nice and cool and damp. You keep this moss pretty damp, and they like to go down there and stay cool. And another really important thing with the graminia is UVB. So where they're from down in Mexico in the cloud forest, they get a lot of sunlight, a good amount of sunlight, and it's really important that you replicate that for them. And you actually have to also if you want to have live plants in there. So as you can see up here, two UVB strips. So. Let me show you guys the temperature variances that I have. Grab my temp gun. So, turn it on. So down in the bottom, 65. Up here in the middle, about 71, if you can see that. And then up top here, about 72, 72. So as you can see, it stays warmer near the top. They can get up there get warm if they need to and then if they want they can get down to the bottom and stay cooler and so pretty much feeding these they'll eat all kinds of insects dubia roaches crickets uh, I have a little dish here with see some mealworms so yeah so this is a basic setup for a pair and now right now I'll show you guys some of my setups for just my single breeders okay so here's a setup for just a single female I'm um, keeping her separated from the male until uh, until she's ready and big enough to breed. But she's pretty close. She should be there. I'm going to pair them up in January, probably late January. So this is her setup. As you can see, the same thing. We have two UVB, UVB bulbs up here for them, which also helps the live plants. We have a pothos. Um, back behind here, there's another plant. It's kind of hard to see. But the same setup. They're really like cork tubes. Um, and my other one, my other setup, as you saw, I had a lot in there too. Uh, so the, we have three cork hollows. There's one in the back. They really like to hide in those. So as you can see, just the same setup, just a little smaller. I think this one is three feet by 18 by 18. Um, so yeah, just the same setup. We have some live moss and some leaf litter on the bottom, a water dish. There's a dish back there with some mealworms, as you can see. And this is about as about as small as you want to go for just one. So yeah, that's one setup for the female. And then lastly, I'll show you guys my setup for my male. All right, so here's my male setup. So basically, same thing, some live moss, pothos, cork bark, and moss at the bottom. And another thing I forgot to mention about the care is these do really well in screen cages because they need a pretty high humidity or I keep mine around 60 to 80 percent humidity and they need air, like a lot of air circulation so the screen cage really they work best to get the best of both wor worlds with those and yeah so I have two pairs of these that will hopefully be producing this next year in 2016 early 2016 or middle and hopefully I'll produce some babies fingers crossed so definitely stay tuned for that and stay tuned for more videos Thanks for watching YouTube.